My name is Jacob Mark, and I am dead. Oh no, there is no doubt that I am dead. The register of my burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and by my chief mourner, Ebenezer Scrooge. I am as dead as a doornail. I present him to you, Ebenezer Scrooge, England's most tight-fisted hand at the grindstone. Scrooge, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Secret, self-contained, and solitary as an oyster. See how his old features seem to freeze due to the cold within him. They freeze his pointed nose, shrivel his cheek, stiffen his gait, make his eyes red and his thin lips blue, and speak out shrewdly in his grating voice. Look at him. Look at him. They owe me money and I will collect. I have been killed if I have to. They owe me money and I will collect what is due to me. We were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge is my sole executor. My sole administrator, my sole assign, my sole residuary legatee, my sole friend, and my sole mourner. But he was not so cut up by the sight of it, my death, but that he made an excellent businessman on the very day of our funeral and solemnized it with an undoubted bond. He never painted my name from the window. There it stands, on the window and beside the warehouse door. Scrooge and Mark. Sometimes people new to our business call him Scrooge. Sometimes they call him Marley. He answers to both names. It's all the same to him. And it's cheaper than painting a new sign, isn't it? No one has ever come up to him in the street and said with glads and looks, My dear Scrooge, how are you? When will you come to see me? No beggar ever implored him to bestow a trifle. No children ever asked him what it is o'clock. No man or woman now or ever in his life, not once, have ever inquired the way to such and such a place. But what does Scrooge care of any of this? It is the very thing he likes, to edge his way along the crowded paths of life, warning all human sympathy to keep its distance. The bell tolls, and I must take my leave. You must stay with him a while and watch him play out his Scroogey life. It is now the story, the once upon a time, Scrooge is in his counting house. Where else? Christmas Eve and Scrooge is busy in his counting house. It is cold, bleak, biting weather outside, foggy with all. And if you listen closely, you can hear the people of the court go wheezing up and down the aisle, stamping their feet upon the paving stones to keep them warm. Only three? And quite dark outside already. It has not been light all day this day. 